talk about what I thought that we were going to talk about today. We're going to talk about Legend Spinball. So last time we already talked about the uh, redesign aspect and mm. everything that went into that. No sooner do we record that than about two days later, all of a sudden there is a new announcement. That new mm. announcement is that they are going to have Zachariah Pinball on their cabinet sometime in 2021, probably the uh, second quarter, so spring of 2021. Yep. What do you make of that, Jared? Uh, good. Like, I, I think it's great that Zachary Pinball is going to be on this product. Um, I think it's probably a better home for it. I think it's a much better home for Zachary Pinball. Right? <laughs> um, I even tweeted out when, when Well Played was first announced, I tweeted out to Zachariah that I, saw it. I said, happy you're, out, you're entering the fray. Wish it was on a better machine. <laughs> yep. Exactly. So now they're, on a better, now they're on a much better machine than what that well-played much one better. is. And that just kind of went into, we were saying that was well-played dead on arrival and Jared had said yes. And now I can definitively go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Although, you know, uh, there is some opinion out there that, you know, there's a there's a product for everyone, so maybe if you don't want to spend the extra, you know, two or three hundred dollars, I think it's about that sort of difference. So on... the oh, between the cabs, uh, yeah, at games is a hundred dollars more than well played. Now also though, figure this uh, at games you're going to have to purchase these tables. Yes, so. They are. There's the 27 tables that are built into Well Played. I mean, you're talking literally that's going to be a $30 cost. So, mm. again, it's negligible. If you yeah. really want to play this Zachary of Pinball, your best bet's going to be to do the Ad Games cab Legends oh, Pinball cabinet. It is. Unless you're really short in cash and you can only afford the smaller cabinet. But honestly, you, you'd want to save your money and just you can just get ready for the uh, the pinball cabinet, really. The Ad Games one. Yeah, I would love to know, uh, as usual, information scarce. <laughs> um, other than the announcement, and and the announcement, everybody's saying that it's 105 plus tables. Mm -hmm. By my math, it's 106 tables. You're not going to be getting the deluxe tables. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll be the solid state, the EMs, the remakes, the retro, the retro, and then the award tables. For those of you wondering what the award tables uh, yeah. are. The award tables are not Zacharia tables at all. They're not based on Zacharia tables. These are tables that Magic Pixel had made for a mobile app, and they have converted and put into the Zacharia pinball program. Um, so it's kind of, you might, in a way, say it was the precursor to the remakes, mm, um, using yeah. all their own licensing, or not licensing, but their own themes. Themes, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be 105 tables plus the 22 Gottliebs um, that you're going to have. So, I mean, that makes an impressive library Yeah, going into that. And these ones are all locally installed as well. So Yeah, so the... You don't need to stream them. No, and, and I just found out today that basically, because I was like, wow, how big of a memory does does this have uh not, not enough pinball. not enough <laughs> what <laughs> it is is you're gonna have to have a a, a thumb drive and yeah. you're gonna so those slots that we were referring to that the poor placement of slots that's what's going to be in one of your slots if you want to zachary a pinball it's going to be a thumb drive yeah in fact a lot of the a lot of the um i think the i was going to say the vpx ones but no they're they're not um because they're going to be streamed so yeah, it's really the two. You've, it's getting to the point where you almost need to have the um, the mountable thumb drive system as the primary place that you're storing all these titles. Mm -hmm. It's going to, I think, moving forward, they might even move away from the onboard storage on the boards and just run it all from the thumb drive because it's going to be it's going to be a lot easier to manage updates to tables if you just unplug the thumb drive, plug it into your PC, uh, you know, update it plug it back in again etc um the interesting thing though is that you know if you're getting one of these things i don't know maybe the market is different for at games where if 
you know, if you've got an app gains table, you need to expect that you will have to have some sort of computer, which is, I guess, a fair expectation these days, but um, to actually manage your games. And I have a feeling that the games. at games customer is very much that <laughs> customer that's going to have a computer. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, you, you're right. At games is a very different market to something like, for example, Arcade One Up, who just want to literally turn the thing on and play it. Yeah, um, you're targeting a, the the at games market seems to me a a open source tech community. Savvy. Yeah, you know, very much DIY community that that sort. Yeah. Yeah, they they're used to screwing around with USB drives. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they'll be fine. Um, so the I'm just the, saying that though, more as a warning for others. If if that's not your game, then this is not your platform. Right. So the the question though that I have, uh, Zachary of Pinball has cabinet mode built in. Um, yes. To their game, you also have the ability to have a second screen. Um, unlike Pinball FX three, which you have to go find your own screen, which watch last episode and uh, download where all my screens are. Um, <laughs> they actually offer technically animated backlash. Um, they have it. Scores mm. are built in to where they need to be built in. Lights are going on the backlash. Um, it's not the highest res quality, but uh, it works. It functions just fine. So, but that's PC. These are yeah. Android design builds. So, is that second monitor going to be used, or for Zachariah Pinball, or is it going to be just again like what's on Weld Played, where the DMD is going to be baked onto your playfield? I've got a feeling that, considering that the press announcement was literally signed. Um, like a week or two ago, uh, the deal. Um, I think that they're probably going to put in the extra effort to make it better integrated with the with the platform because I think early expectations are this isn't going to be out until quarter to 2021. Um, so they're, they're certainly not available now. Um, so I would think that they're, they're going to do a little bit of engineering work to make this work properly on that games. Be interesting to see. Mm. definitely because I mean I hope that that's the case um, it's, a, it's a golden expect- opportunity for them to do it yeah it, if I was buying them on that games I would expect that back glass inter- integration to be done well yeah um, even if it was just the scores up there look I'd, I'd be okay with just having the scores as the single display out the back but you know would what would be better of course is the full back glass display and if they can do animated then that's pretty good. I think if they're going to do animated up there, they're going to need to sacrifice graphics quality on the main play field, though, because they're going to run out of resources on those the at game system. So, if you happen to know the answer to this, anybody, <laughs> feel free to comment and let us know, because um, mm. I'm I'm definitely curious. And and again, this information may not even be uh, available, available yet. yet. In which case, mm. we would say those that uh, have conversations with that games maybe recommend that <laughs> yeah if you've got an inside line to them uh, please, please do strongly recommend that they do this because it will be a really great reflection of their product on the at games platform exactly um i've noticed because they've also were announcing that all these are going to be playable on not just the legends pinball cabinet but also the uh legends gaming and legends arcade cabinets mm, but yes on those cabinets, they're only going to be running 720p at 30 frames a second. Now we're back into that mm-hmm. whole argument of do you really want to play pinball at 30 frames a second? No. So, <laughs> in short, no. But what, I've, what I think I've seen is that on a lot of these builds, when you're playing pinball at 30 frames a second, what that results in is a slower ball. Not necessarily a janky ball but a slower ball. So the table feels really floaty. This is certainly what we saw in the toy shot cabinets when they released at 30 frames per second. Um, everything felt really floaty and really sort of you know, like, like a very, very flat early 80s got leap. That wasn't um, just Farsight? <laughs> well, I mean, so, but come on. There is, there is a precedent there. But the reason why I'm saying that that seems to be the case is because when the version 1.2 and 1.3 boards came out with um, uh, from... Uh, from Toy Shock, you that problem was eliminated. So then they were running at sixty frames per second. So I think if they're running at thirty, expect the ball to be slow. 
I'm just um, I'm kind of kind of confused as to why this is the case. Um because the Legends Arcade, I assume their monitor is a ten eighty monitor and mm. your controls are connected directly to that, so why can it not transfer at sixty frames? I don't know. It, that seems a little weird might to be. me. I think it'll be the um the actual hardware system they're using in those boxes um is just not capable of pushing the frame rates that high. Because remember those those cabinets were designed for like retro style games. Yes. And and not pinball. So they they're available on this now. They've been allowed to, you know, be loaded on, but I'm not super confident that the hardware was ever designed to run a pinball like experience on them. So I mean I guess I the nice thing is where... that because this is all part of the ad games ecosystem, that if yeah, if you only have a Legends gaming pad right now and you bought the pinball and then one day upgrade to a Legends pinball, well, it's going to still work. You're not going to have to rebuy a second time. So that's right. And that's a really big advantage yeah. for if you if you like the App Games network and you like the ecosystem. Um, it's essentially like a it's a custom version of Steam, really, but not Steam because it's not a PC. It's like a custom storefront yeah. where all your purchases carry over between products. And you know, that's that's a very big attraction for this platform. It's the way they've actually done their ecosystem. They've I think they've had a fair few years to perfect it, and it sort of shows the pedigree is definitely there. And then the key thing with this, too, is so long as you're subscribed to their uh, arcade net, mm. um, all these all these Zachariah titles, all the Farsight titles um, are going to also be available for their leaderboards, Mm -hmm. And for their tournaments that they run, mm. um, so that'll be that'll be key. Because I mean, and again, as a Steam player, uh, tournaments are fun. That's oh, what's uh, fun? with with Pinball FX three. Oh, that that literally within the week of first getting FX three, you know, I had been obviously diehard playing Pinball Arcade. As soon as I saw tournaments were available, it was like boom, gone TPA. You've lost yep. all interest to me. These tournaments are the thing. <laughs> yeah, competitive play on pinball. Oh yeah, you know it's 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 key. it's what you need. 